Oh, hey guys, it's Terrence here. I just want to give you a quick update on the uh, image occlusion add-on and uh, how it's changed since the last update, which was uh, we put out an update and then quickly put out another update because of some problems with uh, some bugs in that one. Um, I've asked them to make a couple change or a change, and we'll see what happens. Here, I'm explaining to you how to use this though right now. Basically, uh, we'll go to I'll create a new deck. Actually, I'll switch. Uh, I'll switch profiles. By the way, switching profiles is, is almost as good as redoing and reinstalling Anki. As far as uh, getting rid of bugs that are happening between your, uh, well, not bugs, but errors that are happening between your decks. Anyway, I put in. Here's the new uh, test one, and we'll start creating some images here with the new image occlusion add-on. Uh, you can add them however you want, but it's a button now down here, which is kind of nice. I use uh, snag it. Here's some snag it work going on, and uh, copies that to the clipboard, just like the old one. And uh, I've ended up spreading out my stuff down here so I could click on things better, but uh, I didn't mean to click on that one. But uh, so then we click the image occlusion button. Up comes the editor. In the old version, the title would, you'd have to change the title for every single one of them if you wanted to. This is kind of nice because you can actually single out the cards, and I'll explain to you that now. Uh, call this test one, and I'll make, uh, we'll do the, you know, just like you did for the old occlusions. And um, then we'll add some uh, non-overlapping occlusions. This is not the type of card that I would use this for. That's, I wouldn't make this particular card, but just to show you how this works. So then if you want to add another one, in the, in the new version, you're going to need to do something uh, a little bit weird. And what I've found best is that I click on the add, and then it comes up with this. I expect to see the Anki note editor add-on add coming or note editor coming up, but I don't. I see the image occlusion one. I click X. What that did was basically bring this in front of everything else behind it by clicking down here on this. So then I can just close that and quickly come over here and click this. Um, what I've asked Tiago to do is to put in a way to automatically have this editor window closed. That way I'm not having to do the X, X, you know, and then come down here and click that or whatever you want to do. So basically you're going to close the editor, open it back up every time between between add ads, between you adding cards. Oh, damn, I forgot to show you how this works. Okay, so then let me add one more. Another way, if you're studying for a, a test, and the test is pretty Send here. So look, I'm clicking the add to pull up this. This would normally pull up that, but when I click it, the image occlusion editor comes up. Click X, click image occlusion editor, new picture in. We'll call this test two. Um, if you're trying to study for an, an upcoming exam that's not too far from the future and you're pretty good, or, or basically if it's like a pathway. It's something that is all tied together. You can actually do a better job of memorizing it by, you know, getting rid of everything. Instead of isolating the information, I'm like, uh, I'm basically not isolating. I'm isolating an area of study in which I need to become more proficient. And I, I like this way of going about it because my mind can kind of memorize it better because I'm memorizing it for the first time. I'm not actually studying this and memorizing it. I'm using my note cards as a way of studying. So basically I'm hitting the you know, show me button and then I'm letting it show me. Anyway, I'm going to show you how this goes here. So then I'll close the editor, pull up Anki and show you what these. So as you can see in the, uh, the same, it worked just fine. Yeah, but you see how they're spaced better now? So what he did or um, with the and when you look at the card you'll see these weird 
Let me make sure I pull up all these cards. Uh, you'll see you'll see these weird images and there's multiples of them, and you'll see this. So what he made he made everything a close now. So as you can see, there's card one, one, two, two, three, one. You know, so and you can see the actual names of the cards. So if I was to delete, these are image occlusion. I mean, these are uh, closes. So the spacing interval within image within Anki itself is, is then used which makes it way better so get the new one it's more stable now and uh, hopefully we'll have it where it automatically closes the editor soon but the, the best part about it is that um, he's using the close card type to uh, have Anki automatically space out the um, reviews better. So I guess I the scheduling. Yeah, the scheduling information is now properly used by uh, by Anki. All right. Good luck. Thanks for watching this, and that was just a quick update. Of